Hey guys, welcome to TST Garage, I'm Bart, and in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through the installation of an LED flasher relay on your bike. Anytime you replace your OEM signal equipment with aftermarket LED type signals, there may be a symptom present where you go into hyperflash, which is flashing much faster than the OEM 85 cycle per minute rate, slower flash, which presents itself as very, very slow flash rate, or any of the following two, stuck on or stuck off. What you see in front of me are four different examples of our LED flasher relay. They are a direct replacement for the OEM equipment. They have the same kind of tab that you use for mounting the actual device onto the bike. We do have several different types of sockets that are adaptable to different motorcycles. In this video, we'll show you the appropriate part for your motorcycle so that you can make your installation plug and play and without any fuss. So we've already covered why you would want to mount one of these relays onto your bike. Let's get into a few details here really quick before we get into the installation. These are plug and play. They also work with a combination of different types of signaling equipment. So for instance, if you changed one signal pair to LED and still keeping the OEM incandescent light bulbs in the other positions, that'll work. No big deal. Just don't exceed three amps of current draw. In in addition to plug and playability and easy installation, we do also have adjustability built into this relay. If you strip off the gray cap, you'll be able to adjust the flash rate, fine tune it to your liking, faster or slower. It does arrive to you preset to 85 cycles per minute, like the OEM systems. If you feel the need to change that, you have that capability just by following those steps. At the end of this video, we will have a detailed explanation showcased on a bike so that you can follow along and have the steps broken down for you. Now I'm chomping at the bit to show you guys just how easy it is to install and configure this on a bike. But before we do, I wanted to answer two questions that are very common that our customer service folks have asked me to answer in this video. One of them is how many relays do I need for one motorcycle? It's just one relay that controls front and rear, left and right. No big deal. The other question is, does this work with sequential signaling equipment? Yes, it does. No problem. In fact, signaling equipment that uses a sequential pattern typically doesn't complete the sequence from inboard to outboard. If the flash rate is too fast, using one of these relays will enable your equipment to complete each blink sequence and be good to go. All right, let's grab ourselves a motorcycle and let's continue with this install. The specific relay for the Ninja 500 model is our Gen 2 flasher relay. It has an MTW Sumitomo three position socket with two pins in it. This is what we'll be using. The OEM relay location is at the aft tank bottom. This is accessible via the removal of these two seats. Let's go ahead with that. The removal of the driver's seat is done via pulling on a cable pull that's right in this location under this shroud. Just has a bolt at the end. Once you pull it back, that unlatches the latch that interferes with this lock. Now, right under this bracket, we have this component here. This is our flasher relay. It is mounted via a rubber mount to a tab on this polypropylene piece. So my method for extraction is to bend this whole assembly backwards and pull up and away on it. And now it clears out and we just need to rotate it to find the locking element. You press on this locking element towards the harness plug and that unlocks it and you can just withdraw it. We will scavenge this rubber keeper. Grab our Gen 2 relay. Insert this rubber keeper right onto the tab that's built into the housing. And now we're ready to plug back in. This arrives to you preset to 85 cycles per minute. If you wanna change the rate, we do have a separate section within this video in instructing you how to change that rate to your liking. I'm just gonna perform the rest of the installation here. I will find the window for the locking mechanism. 
align my locking pin with that window, slide the connectors together until I get a click. And then it's basically the reverse order of this assembly. Replace the relay on the tab. Get the seats back into position. Power up the bike, test the function, and in fact, we have proper flash rate. This installation is complete. Okay, our process here will be portrayed in a model agnostic way. This will be applicable to any model out there. We just chose this motorcycle because we had it handy. I typically like to start with my relay still plugged in. I rotate it to find this area here, pry it up with a small flathead screwdriver and basically pry out the red portion from the gray cap. Some of our other relays have a different color uh, connector portion, so they won't be red. When you leave this still plugged into its connector, the gray cap will generally typically come off and the circuit board will still be in there. If for some reason you cannot do this with the relay plugged in, procedure will be as follows. Same step here, dislodge the cap. This will come off and if it has two pins, there's only one way for it to fit in there. We'll take the circuit board out. Technically, you can put it in reverse, but you'll notice that it sticks out of the side here and is not aligned properly. So I will hold it like this I will plug it back into the connector. We will need to make the adjustment under power. Turn the power on, leave the signal that you can actually still see in uh, flashing mode. We'll take a small Phillips screwdriver, access this potentiometer and turning it one way will increase the speed. There is a delay in the speed effect. So as soon as you turn it, if you were to turn it really fast, it'll take a while for it to catch up to the speed that you actually set. So give it a little bit of time before you judge it. All the way counterclockwise is fast. All the way clockwise is slow. You will generally find something in between that will please you. And once you've made that adjustment, you could close the cap. Now, here's a very important note that I wanna underline. As you can see, I'm holding this relay away from contact with anything. Generally, when working within a bike, we can potentially make contact between these electrical components with a ground, with any other metal components. We could short some of the connections there and that will likely cause damage to the electronic components on board. So we want to make sure that we keep this as far away as we can from any metal components and also do not touch any of the contacts here on board with a metal tool. Be very, very careful about that. Now the reinstallation of the cap is as follows. We'll look inside. We'll notice that there is a channel here and here and that is what accepts the circuit board. So you find that channel, you match the circuit board to it, snap it on, make sure both sides engage, and then hang the relay in its appropriate place. 